Hello students, this is Ms. Tritz and I will be talking about the non-renewable resources intro video. First, I would like you to know some key terms so that you understand some of these concepts a little better. So first, make sure you're getting out your uh, worksheet for the non-renewable resource intro video, the web quest for that. First, I want to talk about coal. So coal is a combustible black or dark brown rock consisting of carbonized plant matter and it's widely used as fuel. Uh, oil, this is a viscous liquid derived from petroleum. This is also used as fuel. Natural gas, this is a flamm flammable gas. This is consisting uh, largely of methane and other hydrocarbons. This, is, uh, this occurs naturally underground and this is also used as a fuel. Nuclear. So this is energy that is released during a nuclear or during nuclear fission or fusion. This is used to generate electricity. So a little bit more about fission and fusion. Fission is the splitting of the nucleus of an atom. Fusion is the com combining of the nuclei of two atoms. So two different uh, nuclei. Then we have fossil fuels. This is a natural fuel such as coal or gas which is formed in the geological past, so a long time ago, from the remains of living organisms. This can be plants or animals. Now I'll go up a little bit. Now we're right here. So fractional distillation. This is the sep separation of a liquid mixture into fractions, differing in boiling points by means of distillation. So the liquids will uh, separate due to their different boiling points. All right, mining. So mining is the process or industry of obtaining coal or other minerals from a mine. Now there's another process, how we uh, gather these resources, which is called drilling. This is the process of drilling a hole in the ground for the extraction of a natural resource, such as natural gas or petroleum or oil. Fracking. So fracking is the process of drilling down into the earth before a high-pressure water mixture, usually with sand. Uh, this is directed at the rock, and it will uh, release the gas which is inside that rock. Then there's a saying uh, called NIMBY. So N-I-M-B-Y. This means not in my backyard. So this is pertaining to people that object to the sighting of something perceived to be unpleasant or potentially dangerous in their own neighborhood. So they don't either like seeing the um, nuclear plant or they might think that the nu nuclear plant might be potentially dangerous to their children, for an example. All right, make sure you continue to the next page. We'll be talking about the discussion points. All right, so the discussion points uh, talk about, one, what is the one non-renewable resource that you are interested in investigating further? Now make sure you uh, only select one. That's what you're going to be talking about. So explain why you selected that. You can find this discussion point on your WebQuest worksheet for non-renewable resources. Uh, number two, this is where will you go to access the resource provided to you by your teacher to complete the scavenger hunt activity. Now I'll mention this in the next slide. So now I'll be talking about the non-renewable resource scavenger hunt activity. So this is the first, oops. This is the first page that you'll see. It's the uh, title slide. Now I just want you to note that this is worth 20 points since you're only picking uh, one non-renewable resource. Now each blank um, highlighted spot is worth one point, which is a total of 20 points for this one. So now we'll see over here a non-renewable resource and resources. This is your the answer to your discussion two question. Now this is where you're going to go to um, select your resources. So for example, if you picked nuclear, the the links are attached to source one, so you can click on there, it'll take you to a, a resource and on source two. Or you can select the QR code and if you have a device that can read that, you have a QR code reader installed on your 
uh, device, you can go and look on it with that. Otherwise, you can find more information with the textbook. Alright, so now the next slide. This will be the next slide on your list. So this is the resource that you have selected. Remember, you only need the one non-renewable resource. This is where you put that one uh, in this highlighted region below. Then you will see this slide next, which asks, where is it found? So where is your resource found? Be specific. So you need two locations. Now, these are locations in parts of the world. So where is your resource most abundant? All right. How is it formed? So this is a two-step process that you need to um, address. So make sure you're doing your research and you figure out how your resource is formed. All right. And then on this side of your uh, slide, it says, in the space provided below, provide a link or an image of your resource. So for example, if you picked coal, we want a link to a picture of coal or you select an image or create an image of coal and link it there. Remember if you draw your image you can take a picture of it and download it on your computer and then put the link to it there. Now I'm going to be talking about the next slide. So part three, how is your resource used? So how do we access get access to this resource? So this is asking whether we drill or mine for it. So you'll have to look for that and your resources provided for you. Then it states, in the space provided below, develop two statements regarding how your resource is used to provide us with energy or to do work. So you will also have to look that up in your resources. So does it uh, provide us with electricity, fuel, things like that. All right. Then over on this side of the page, you'll have to provide another link uh, or an image of how your resource is used to produce energy. So make sure that you're looking for that as well. Now the last slide that you'll be seeing talks about the pros and cons of your resource. So over on this side, it, ex it says that you need to briefly explain two different pros or benefits, so good things about your resource. And over on this side, we want three cons, so things that might be bad with using this resource. All right. There are many articles provided with you uh, in your resources that uh, explain these well.